Hello everyone, Victor here with another Torchlight Infinite video. Today, I'm going to show you the upgrades I've made to the Summon Machine Guards Mocho 1 build. First of all, let's do a quick map. This is an 8.1 map with 100% modifiers, item quantity. You can see the machine guards are pretty uh, quick to jump to targets and just obliterate them. So I make quite a few upgrades to the build. My minions at the moment, you will see that they reach low life, but they don't die. And that's because they are basically right now immune to all sorts of damage. They can't take damage. They can still die if a... For instance, there are certain bosses that uh, seem to have abilities that just say that they kill whatever is within. And in those instances, they will still die, but they don't take damage. So we'll go first over the gear. The gear hasn't changed that much. The most important one is that I got a breast pin. I was before this using a rare crafted necklace, this one, which had life, meaning damage, fire resistance, attack speed, and resistance, basically. It was just, uh, just that, right? And I got the breast pin, I tested it, and it basically almost doubled my damage. So breast pin remains super good, in spite of the fact that um, a lot of the previous existing modifiers to crit rate and crit damage that you used to used to have yourself got uh, nerfed. So this mod isn't as important as it were before, because, uh, you know, these passives, they no longer give give you crit, they just give minion crit. And uh, same thing about the machinist ones. But this helps you if you get whatever sort of crit modifiers in your gear. So it enables you to be able to do that, but uh, there are a few sources. For instance, gloves don't have minion crit, so you, I will get crit damage on the gloves. But uh, on the rings, I can get minion crit, so I get that directly because they get 100% of that instead of just 50%. Uh, so, so there's that, but um, the minion life and the minion damage definitely factor into how much damage you deal because of uh, this trait. Uh, this 5% minion max life, it's a little bit misleading. Um, it's not 5% because you would read this as for every 5% minion max life, they have 6% overload effect, uh, which means that this stacks up to. Um, uh, 20 times, right? But no, it's actually based on a uh, minimum bonus max life that you get from gear and from the passive tree and from other sources. So right now, what we have is... Uh, I, don't, I don't think I can really see, like, the bonus max life, but, you know, a lot of it's, it's coming from the breast pin. And you will notice, for instance, look at the size of the minions right now. If I remove the breast pin... They they go they grow smaller, they they go they become smaller. So that means that uh, this trait scales off of bonus minion health, scaling the overload effect. It's pretty good. Probably um so for, from what I've tested, it's better than go for broke. So that's why uh, breastpin GG. Uh, it it really gave me a big boost on DPS. So uh, before I keep talking, I'll show you. I think before with damage pets we were reaching like. 4, 4 billion-ish. Let me actually summon my 6 minutes. Uh, that is, right now I'm not using the damage pets. Let me add the damage. Maybe I'm snapshotting the... Uh, not having the breast pin. Sometimes that happens. Also, let me actually check that everything is enabled here. here. 
this game tends to sometimes just snapshot and testing uh, minions on the dummy is very convoluted because of that. To actually enable the overload. I don't know. I was doing I was doing like eight. Yeah. There you go. What's going on? Eight billion sometimes. Uh, this is because the the inconsistency of not ha not having a hundred percent overload uh, duration. The overload is basically like a fifty per sixty percent uptime at the moment. Uh, uh, fin crown remains. This one I don't I don't see the point of corroding for this. Uh, maybe for the minion damage, but at the moment you will see that uh, as long as I'm about fifty, that that's all I need. I don't I don't really need more than fifty. You still get a little bit of extra percentage if I get the mod. Uh, for 12, I could probably be at 100 uh, most of the time, but you know that that's good enough. 80, 80 command, it's pretty good. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this ring, I think I already had it last time. Crit damage, very good. And I also um, use the this one, the Truth Amber, to, to get it higher. Um, still, the Farewell Desire, I managed to corrode this one. I want it. Uh, this, I think this gives the um, multi strike count plus one, and I think that's the best one you can get. After uh, will desire, most likely you would want a double corrode. Same thing about the breastfin, which I think I might do at the end of, of this video. Uh, the shield I upgraded to a uh, to an 86 shield to get some T1 modifiers, so minion damage, uh, max life for myself, some intelligence. I'm going to try to stack strength instead of intelligence and get a slate with the plus one max life for each point of for like four strength. And this other ring, I'm sorry about that. Uh, this other ring, uh, same thing. We go strength, armor, intelligence. Um, this probably I want to be live, and um, maybe I don't know. I have to try between this and crit damage, which one is actually better or crit rating because I don't think my minions have a 100% chance to crit. They bought a plus two mining fusion instead of plus one. Uh, I think I dropped this one. And yeah, this is the one I was using before. I corroded them both. I got the max life here. Uh, none of them got plus three, but you know, good enough. And uh, the gloves, I upgraded two, got uh, minion damage, max life, and gear armor. I switched completely off of energy shields and just stick into armor and, and, and life. And I think survival has gone up substantially. And uh, the Void Embarkment, because this is pretty good, gives you a ton of resistance, gives you a ton of stats uh, through that. So this alone, you will see, I'm 73, 71. If I remove this, I go all the way down to 60 cold resistance. So uh, very, very nice to have the Void Embarkment. Let me enable my skills again. And yeah, let's transition straight into going through the skills. Uh, another of the significant upgrades is this one. Uh, because I'm now doing fist damage instead of lightning damage. Lightning damage is very good with high voltage. Um, the numb doesn't seem to... Sometimes you don't stack it. I don't know. It's weird. But uh, when it does, you notice it. The damage goes up. Uh, but right now I'm doing full fist, so I cannot use any of the elemental support. So I switched to this one. This is... 0.98 for every, uh, for every command you have up to 50 for every one command. So that's basically, this is a uh, 49% additional damage. There's nothing that comes even close to that. Uh, no other support comes close to that. This is the highest you can have. And on top of that, each of these stars increases the bonus. So I'm getting also 14% additional damage on top of that. So this is giving me it's uh, 49. 63% additional damage from the support. And same thing, Monte Strike, Maniacal, and Assault Command. I'm leveling Assault Command to test against uh, Crit Rating. Crit Rating says it gives more damage, but I think, yeah, probably Crit Rating is better, uh, more consistent, and uh, it gets the Crit Rate much that much higher. It allows me to not have to get Crit Rating on the rings, for instance. But I, I need to get this to level 20 to see how how it compares actually. Uh, Spiral Strike with Harden. Uh, Machine Army with Root. Basically, uh, uh, just for the cooldown recovery speed, 
I can still trigger this manually, but you know, it gives you a little bit of automation. You start moving, you trigger it. Then uh, vulnerability, because again, we 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 cannot use elemental shock anymore. And uh, target we get it from the boots, so this is the only thing, basically, that I can use here for damage. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think there's there's anything else for damage for for pure fist builds. Yeah, boom. Okay. Then uh, frost shield with blinding, and uh, this is one of the upgrades. All of these are level twenty one. Uh, elemental resistance is insane. Uh, 12% max resistances, your survivability just goes through the roof once you have this. You don't die from elemental damage. Erosion is the biggest problem I have at the moment, and physical, of course. Uh, precise, fearless, level 21. This is rather cheap. And the reason I'm using, like, increased area here in aura amplification, aura amplification is a no-brainer. It doesn't really add up to the mana cost, but it increases the aura effect and the area of effect of the aura. And uh, the reason I'm using increased area of effect is because with of the beaten track, this instead of being 1.1 multiplier is 0 0.95. So you will see that adding this actually reduces the mana reservation. I'll remove it, less mana. So basically, this is not only free, it's good to have. Uh, so that's the reason why I'm adding it here as well and here as well. And uh, I'm doing precise protection field. The minion taunt is really nice. Since the minions, so my minions cannot die anymore. Uh, the, the frost spirits don't go into into their uh, into the re, the rejuvenation period where they just run around not doing anything. So I can have them safely take damage for me. So this is four percent less damage taken, and also they they have a taunt uh, grudge because it adds paralysis as a fifty percent multiplier. Elemental duo, uh, just because you know having an extra minion doesn't really hurt. Uh, they themselves deal deal some damage. Let me restart this. They don't do massive because of the breast pin, but uh, I still I, I do have like uh, uh, this ring needs to have added physical damage, and that that would even add more to whatever hits they do. But as you can see, yes, yeah, it's, it's not it's not significant at the moment. It, it was way more when I didn't have Respin, but, you know, it's because they only do cold damage and everything that is not cold is being caught by 100%. And uh, Precise Rejuvenation, because um, this is something that I was using because I wanted the minions to survive. Right now, I might not need it, and I I might switch it for, uh, for the speed aura, uh, but the 1.3 regen goes down to, I think... See? goes down to so it's 300 less region i mean it's it's okay i guess uh, i think i could lose it for easier content and just keep it for harder content but you know 300 region for a 10 percent aura um even less because of the supports as well it's it's not too bad and uh with the mana reservation i have there's basically nothing else i can put here unless i get more uh, some amount of uh Build mana from gear, but I will have to go into price little gear level 100 gear to be able to afford that. And what I would do here is probably steadfast, or um, or maybe I would actually go to another uh, damage aura in the form of uh, this uh, weapon amp, physical damage. And for candles, I got a hardened candle and a uh, servant damage candle. Free damage is better than servant damage. So you don't get the unlocked crit and you get uh, actually more damage because urban damage is 23% I think at level uh, level uh, 20 whereas uh, crit damage is 34% and uh, harden is 24-25% more damage uh, the weapon attacks me hurts me a little bit in the speed of the spiral strike but it's not it's not insanely annoying in my opinion and of course, the double candle will be a support with uh, crit damage for um, for each point of command uh, support. Um, well, my modifier. Then the slates. Uh, this is where most of the changes are. Uh, so I'm still using this one. This this was kind of a steal. Uh, this attack speed with the mobility is good. Isomorphic arms is what I needed, and 
I got the multi strike for the minion damage. Then uh, this one is just a plus one. Ideally, this will be plus two and maybe even plus three or plus four. It's very hard to get that. But uh, getting plus two here is not impossible. And here are the changes. So this one is plus one minion and immune to physical. This one is plus one synth and immune to lightning. Then this is multi strike, the same mode as that one, and uh, immune to cold. And here we have this defensive mod, it's super good, and this is immune to fire and uh, immune to erosion. So basically, uh, and this one, this one is, is good. Uh, double damage, minion damage, regen, and immune to erosion. And you, and you will see that each of these is adding 50% max life to myself. It's very, very good uh, because of that. And even here is lightning resistance. Uh, left regain doesn't really do anything for me. Maybe I could heal with Sparrow Strike to get a few of those. But in general, it's all about the, the max life. That's why I have 5.5k uh, HP because of these. And uh, minions not dying anymore is very, very, very good. Very nice to have. And uh, in here, in here, I, I didn't, I don't, I don't think I changed anything. Oh yeah, I, I, I added armor because I'm actually using armor pieces now. So I do benefit from this. The extra elemental resistance is, is, is very welcome. Uh, I should look into going into at least these three. Uh, the trauma is not going to be insane, but it's it's going to be there. It's going to add a little bit of damage. And especially the armor uh, mitigation penetration is definitely going to add some extra bits of DPS. And the warlock, I basically trimmed this tree to the minimum amount of points necessary to get to uh, the plus one all skills and to get the trade cost. Uh, right now, what I need from this is mostly, uh, you know, the minion damage, the attack speed, and the plus one, and uh, cooldown recovery speed. There are a few other things, but uh, this was, this is, this mostly has uh, energy shield stuff, doesn't have a lot of, um, there's some life here, but these nodes are not huge, and regain doesn't do anything for us. The skill cost is there, but not required, and yeah, anything else doesn't really benefit us too much on this tree, so I cut it to the minimum. I would like to get Blur, uh, but this is Blur on the feet, which uh, on the feet is you killing. And since we don't kill, we don't get this. Uh, the hero traits, okay, this is another big thing. Um, I got these memories, which allow me to now go to level 40. Uh, level 40 doesn't really increase the trade level too much. You have to go to 50 to actually get it to plus 3. Uh, but level 40 allows you to get two modifiers here. And uh, I got life and minion crit damage here. Um, now, and of course, the base trait also goes higher. So that's 90 intelligence there. This one still has to go higher, but this is base armor. 3k armor. Uh, 3k armor, I think it's better than whatever I have. So this is 4.1k. Uh, the boots are 1.9k. So... Uh, a lot of my armor is coming from that from that memory I have at the moment uh, with the modifiers, and I have 24k armor, which cuts, uh, which is almost cutting the physical damage taken by half. Assuming, uh, well, against monsters uh, from the same level, up to 80% mitigation you can get, and it's also reducing elemental damage and erosion damage, which I I definitely need to uh, to have. And then. So I want to get this to 40 at some point. And uh, this one is movement speed because I, I really like to have the movement speed. And this one can also have a level 40. Now, uh, the next thing I want, this trade, I really want to get to plus 5. But uh, to get to plus 5, um, so this, is the, this system is very, is very uh, obscure in my opinion. Um, well, maybe not that obscure, but, you know, it's, it's a little bit confusing how it works. So. Uh, you will see these uh, memories, hero memories. Uh, in order to get the, the item to level 5, you need one of these ultimate memories. Uh, the ultimate memories can actually reach uh, 50, which means you get plus 3. And what you have to do is, you, there is a modifier here that says uh, on the fixed stat. I don't, I don't know if you can get it on the... On the random affix too. Let me see if it's something that can actually show there. Apparently, no. 
I don't, I don't think it. I don't think it can show up. We can get it here, and then you can see the price of of, of things. Uh, there are not many of them, and uh, the ones they are, it's you know, it's it's insanely expensive. Because this is the only way you can get your your hero trade to max level. Uh, now, um, I I haven't done the calculations, but I don't think we need level five. I think level four might be good enough. But ideally, since uh, you have to spend all the resources to level this to fifty. I don't think you want to you want to do it with many memories. I already done it uh, twice with uh, a f with the few memories I had, and you don't get these back. So I think it's worth for you to, if you can, just farm up, wait, and get the red ones, and just level the red ones uh, rather than 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 uh, putting materials into this because um, for this you need the the legendary the legendary enhancement materials. Uh, these ones you need nine of them to be able to reach them to to move them from level say 29 to 30 and from uh, 39 to 40 and uh these go for like this is this is a little bit more than one fe and uh you get you need a ton of memory scraps to be able to upgrade and you see one level right now is 20. so you need thousands of memory scraps to level them and once you replace them you don't get them back uh, that's why I haven't really leveled this one. I think I'm gonna switch everything to red, and then I'm gonna focus on those. But uh, yeah, that's that's what you want to do now. Getting three of these with plus trade level, that's gonna be uh, ridiculously expensive. But at at least I would want to get orange. Um, so this one is. I think this one I do want level five. But the other ones I can miss them for a little bit. So. I'll probably get orange here with plus two, and then this one definitely has to be red plus two, because you want this to be level five. Plus overload, you you notice uh, when you're when you're hitting the dummy, uh, the damage with and without overload is it's night and day difference. So we'll see. For instance, there they have it. You can see the like the ring around them. They no longer have it. The damage goes down. Then they get overload again. The damage massively goes up. And then they lose it again, and you start losing damage. And that is the inconsistency, the ebb and flow that you have to go through, because overload duration is not there, and skill effect duration is not a super available modifier. So uh, your only choice is to get that memory uh, higher. But once we can get to a hundred percent overload effect, we can look into actually getting rid of the um, immunity. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe maybe we we will still use uh, this combination, um, and and maybe go for broke would actually be better then because of the uh, because this is a multiplier. This is you know uh, one point five six instead of the uh, increase. This is increase, and uh, with the bar warden's breastpin, this uh, five percent. So I have yeah, yeah I have breastpin with uh, ninety seven percent. Right. Let's say this this was a hundred. 100 by 5 times 6. This is 100% increase overload effect. So it's at best a 1.2, assuming you don't have overload effect elsewhere. But we do have um, overload effect here uh, for each point of command. That's why you want to get to 100% command, I guess. Uh, so this one at 100 overload, at 100 command, is it's 100. So this instead of being a 1.2, becomes like a 0 0.85, something like that. But this is actually a 1.5 and can get much higher. It can get like, two, I don't know if it can go to 100%, but it goes very, very high. So, you know, those are those are the upgrades. Uh, the, the stage I'm at at the moment, you can see that there is a still a ton of things to do. I don't have a single piece of of level 100 gear. I don't have it. Uh, I don't have double corroded items. I don't. I don't even have all my items single corroded. My slates are okay at best. Uh, I haven't really uh, focused on on the, this one. It's all about you know. It's it's all about farming. Moto has always been the hero that uh, you want to you want to dedicate time to it. Craft your gear and you know upgrade piece by piece. Um, this is level twenty one, so this can go no higher, but I can get uh, level 21 supports that adds more damage than you think. Uh, but I need to figure out which supports I want. I think 
my ankle army will stay um, pretty good, especially now that we can actually sustain 40, 50 command with the belt. Uh, steamroll, same thing. Uh, for melee skills, I don't think anything comes close to this. It's it's insane the amount of damage it gives. Um, and the reduced attack speed, we have so much gain that it doesn't really affect us. And uh, probably multi strike will remain there. But I I I can see a situation where multi strike becomes less good than something else. And you know, twenty one this, twenty one um, curse. You can get dream affixes. You can get profound dream affixes. I can get supports for this to increase the aura effect, especially, you know, for fearless that actually gives damage and uh, get actual good candles. So, you know, ton, ton, ton of upgrades to make. Uh, here, um, this rank 1.342, uh, 1342. Uh, this guy is a 3K. This is insane. He has very good gear. You can see he has prices gear already in almost every piece except the boots. And he has golden recovery speed here, you know, all good things, good stuff. Uh, this guy's gear, and you can see he's gotten for the raid memories, and he has plus two on this one on charge forward. And uh, and he doesn't have plus two on on this one. Funnily enough, he he went for charge forward plus two. But you know, maybe maybe he doesn't need it because he has enough CDR to actually have a 100% overload effect through, you know, a modifier like this, and, you know, plus three active skill level, this is insane amount of damage for, and he actually has a, a, a prairie, uh, which basically this is copying this, 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 and he's going uh, order scaling with a, does he has like the reduce order, yeah, reduce order decay. Order scaling is the best way you can you can get damage. Um, and he also has the immunity, but he has, you know, double immunity slates. And those are actually very expensive. But this is basically, uh, you know, machine guards and spider tanks, they basically build the same way. Uh, except for, of course, the aura. Because you don't want to use precise projectiles, you want to use that one. But, you, you know, you would go for this to 15 numbers selfless. Uh, same here, safety numbers, helpless. Look at the candles command. Um, his candles aren't even insane, they are just good. So imagine, the, even this guy still has long ways to go on. Perpetual motion to basically spam Dark Gate. Spamming Dark Gate is because of this one, Focus Fire. 20% additional damage for minions. When Dark Gate makes minions uh, attack the highest rarity enemy. Uh, yeah, this one is also... Uh, very good, and it gives them attack speed. That's why spider tanks are they they got the 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 better the better supports in my opinion. Uh, what we have instead is uh, increased damage for onslaught punch. But onslaught punch trying to force these guys to use the onslaught punch is kind of clunky because you have to stand back, use dark gate, then they actually charge forward. But sometimes they don't. Sometimes sometimes they just like walk forwards. You know, they, they take a little bit because of the multi-strike too. So, you know, it might be the case where uh, this slot would be replaced by... Uh, where do I have it? Actually, slot 3 can only be replaced by uh, this one. The Magnificent. After they use Onslaught on slot Punch, it gives increased damage to Overpower. That might be might be the play at some point. I'll, I'll need to test that in the future. But you know, I need I need more crit and I need more other stuff to be able to to add that at some point. All right, uh, that's all I have for these upgrades. Uh, I still haven't taken uh, TA Traveler. I think I need. Last time I did it with uh, two, three billion. It was extremely painful, and I decided not to even continue the fight. I just left it there. So I'm probably going to go whenever I reach 20 billion at the very least. I wouldn't go lower than that because the fight is going to take hours. And and uh, and at some point, the arena just gets completely, completely fucked by all the all the all the effects that he adds. So uh, TA Traveler still there. I'm doing um, I can do 8-1 fast. I can do 8-2 
semi slow, so that's why I'm sticking to 81 at the moment. Get the maximum amount of quantity with the maximum amount of speed that I can get. And uh, what I'm farming at the moment is ice. I'm getting ice. I'm just adding, you know, these boxes. When you get them, you get uh, 20 to 30 FE from them sometimes. I'm just adding monsters and extra quantity. The embers sell pretty good. And uh, just beacons, dropping beacons is good because it allows you to sustain a little bit. And uh, I added this recently. I haven't seen a single piece of prices, priceless uh, gear drop. But I just added this in the last five or six maps. So I'm going to basically try to run the stock I have here, which is 40-ish. Uh, and if I don't drop a single piece, I'm just going to get rid of it and just going to buy whatever I need uh, in terms of prices gear and put those points elsewhere. All right. Oh, and uh, and this point, what I'm getting is um, no star shards, but I get rare confusion cards because uh, you will notice that in, in regular eight, so these guys don't drop profound beacons. They don't drop um, they don't drop any of the precise skills. And uh, they don't often drop this gear. They always drop like uh, this shit ring. And most of the time this ring is completely worthless. And, you know, Ghost Lottery is good, for instance, in, in this guy. But uh, I don't think it's worth it. I, I don't think it's worth doing these bosses in T8. They, they are in T7, and I think they are in Profound. Uh, I haven't even unlocked Profound because I haven't killed uh, the Traveler. And they are probably uh, definitely worth in this space, most likely, because then you have an insane amount of, of item quantity to drop. But uh, in T8, I don't, I don't think they're worth at all, so I don't, I don't fight them. Uh, I'm just... Uh, you know, I have to now. Now that I think of it, I have to. I have to fight this one, but I can just buy the star shards instead of, you know, instead of uh, collecting them. So that there's that. All right, that's all I have for this updates. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.